I got here an Asus VivoBook X442U. This laptop is slim and quite trendy. So stay tuned, I will do some upgrades with this laptop. Before we do anything with this laptop, we will find out first the specs. This has an Intel Core i3 7100 CPU, clock at 2.4 GHz with 4 gigs of 2133 MHz DDR4 built-in RAM, 1 TB hard disk drive, 2 GPU which are Intel HD 620 and NVIDIA GeForce 930MX, 14-inch LED display, a webcam, Wi-Fi, and DVD drive. The interface of this laptop are one SD card reader, one audio jack, one USB 2.0 port, AC adapter plug, one VGA port, HDMI, one USB 3.0 port, and USB Type-C 3.0 which is good for fast data transfer and even charging. This Asus VivoBook has a built-in RAM, but this version has an option to add RAM capacity. And the owner, which is my friend, already added 8 gigs of DDR4 2133 MHz RAM, which is the same with the speeds on the built-in RAM. And this system is now running 12 gigs of RAM in total. Honestly, I was a bit concerned that this laptop is having different capacity RAM, but based on my recent research, this is okay, and this configuration is called a synchronous dual channel. This is fine as long as the workload will not exceed on the smaller RAM capacity. It will not give complication on the system. I got this information from Linus Tech Tips. I will put link down below. Now let's go back. Actually this laptop has an issue that really bothered my friend. He owned it for 4 years and this laptop is very slow and it end up not being used in years. There is no overheating issue on this laptop as I check the thermals. So my solution on this is to replace the hardest drive that is running on this system with an SSD, which I put 240 gigs from Ramsta. But since this is a laptop, it only has one slot for storage drive. In this case, the hardest drive will be put to waste. Well, I have a solution to that. I will use a caddy drive to house the hard disk drive which will replace the DVD drive on this laptop. This device is designed to replace DVD drive on the laptop to house in 2.5 inch hard disk drive or SSD. Anyway, DVD drives are not very useful these days. Mostly when we get softwares and movies, we can just go online and download it or watch it. And this is how I do it. First, I remove all the screws on the back. Flip open the screen and gently remove the keyboard panel using any plastic that is slim, which in this case is an ID card. Then carefully remove the keyboard connector and the touchpad connector by lifting a small lever holding it. Now you can see the hard disk drive and the DVD drive. And first of all, remove the battery connector so that there will be no electricity on the mainboard to avoid short circuit. The connector to the interface is taped in the hard disk drive. Well, I gently remove it to the motherboard so I can access the drive easily. After that, I remove the hard disk drive, then replace it with an SSD. Then I remove the DVD drive and then put in, screw in the already reformat and backed up hard disk drive to the caddy. Then remove the front plastic cover on the DVD and put in to the front end of the caddy. By the way, the lap guide in the front caddy is the same with the DVD in this case. If in case it is not the same, just use pre-installed front panel of the caddy or just do your own modification. By the way, I removed the holder on the back of the DVD, then screw it into the caddy. Now let's screw in back the drives. Now let's reattach all those cables and assemble back this laptop. After that, I installed Windows 10 to the SSD since we know SSD can improve any PCs or laptops performance. And I already made videos of that and it is obvious that this laptop is performing better than before. And now it has two storage drives. I did not test this laptop in gaming, but it is capable, but I don't advise it. The thermal design of this laptop is not meant for gaming, especially on mainstream titles. The cooling solution is small, 
and it only has one exhaust. And the vents are small because it is designed for office and student use. That is why it is slim, trendy, and easy to carry. But there are games that don't put heavy load on your CPU, like flash games or solitaire, which is okay. But if you really want to game on this laptop, you can. But keep in mind, if the CPU is always hot, it will cause a lot of problems in the future. The worst is CPU failure. So that's all for now. I hope I give you some tips and ideas on laptop upgrades. For more contents like this, make sure you subscribe to support my channel. And everyone, have a nice day.